Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing my basic tips on how I created my own personal tarot deck. We're going to be navigating on two sites during this video so I can show you how user friendly they are. Now bear in mind I've got a mobile in one hand and my other hand is navigating around the site using a laptop. So there is going to be some wobbly bits. Now, the one site where you can access all the royalty free images, they are free. You can purchase some, but the others are free. Now, if you're going to be developing a tarot deck to sell and make some profit, I just personally feel that it would be nice to give some type of attribution somewhere in that tarot deck to the artist. They've put in hard work, dedication and passion into developing those images for people to use free. And I just think it's a way of sharing and raising their profile. The second site that I use to actually develop the deck, I just found them extremely affordable professional grid communication and for me I just found the whole process seamless and the turnaround time was just unbelievable it was within days so the card stock quality is perfect for shuffling you'll get all the specifications before you purchase so you can decide yourself and they deliver internationally. You can also go and check out and compare and contrast with other suppliers also. So here is my first site, which is Pixabay for stunning royalty-free images and royalty-free stock, including music and sounds. So I'm just gonna choose what image I want. So I'm gonna look for murder because I'm looking to make a crime deck. So here you can see it brings up all the images, but there is a drop down box where you can pick a certain type of image. So whether that be vector, photo, illustration, and also you'll see sound effects for videos and sounds and music. So I'm just going to just go through the images. So I'm going to choose my image. I am now going to download my image. And here it will show the artist details and there's a copy button so you can paste on a separate sheet just so you've got the list of artists you're using. Now I have open the file I am going to save in my pictures and that's done so that's the first part of the process done and what I would recommend is downloading all the images you want to use ready for the next stage so now we go on to make your own playing cards link will be in description so as you can see here, tarot double-sided, personalised. It's um, coated in plastic for durability and a single pack cost £23.99 in UK pounds. How crazy affordable is that? So we go into our first stage. So at the bottom of this page, they have already provided some tips and instructions of how to get started. Now, the first card, as you will see, is blank. This is the back of your card, as it says, where you would put your brand in or whatever you wish to put in. On this, we already have the right away template already there, if you wish to just use that with your own branding. But we're not gonna do that in this case. So we're gonna click to the next stage and on the next stage is where we're going to be using our own images so 
here we go. So the first car choice here will show you black and white rider weight. We're not going to choose that option, but there it is. The second card is if you want card markings, playing card markings on the corner of your card. We're not going to be using that either. We're using third option, full image. We are now going to browse our image that we downloaded earlier. We're going to click and there it is, uploaded. Now, I don't like the image in portrait form. So I'm going to go to the image and rotate. Simple as that. So you'll still have the portrait version, but now you've got the landscape version. So I'm going to get rid of these extra ones, but I'm just showing you how easy it is to rotate and co copy them. But we're going to take these images off because we don't want them. Click on the landscape. There we go, it is now landscape. So I'm happy with this. So I'm gonna click onto my next stage, which is borders. Now, you can choose to have a border or not to have a border and types. So there are four you can choose from, no border, full border, part, image and border. So you've got the rest of the card you can fill with whatever text you want. So make sure you adjust your image within the bleed lines so you're happy with the image after the cutting process. I'm choosing full border. And then I go to background, which is next stage, which will color the border, as you can see. So you can choose from any color on this palette. Once you're happy with the background color, which changes your border colors, then you go to next stage, which is add text if you wish to. So we go to size of text, color of text, and then we go to style of text. Once you're happy with those, you just type across in the text box. Do -do 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 -do. There we go, just typing across. And as you can see, it is typing on the card. Once you've checked the spelling, you can then move the text and position it until you're happy using the arrows. So up, downs, and from side to side until you're happy. Once that is done, you go to next stage. And you start all over again. So this is the next card in the deck. So I'm going third option, full image, browse, upload, choose my image, decide whether it's portrait or landscape. I'm happy with portrait. Go to next stage. Choose my border, so again I'm choosing full border so it matches. Background will then change the colour of that border. Next stage is your text, so size of font, colour of font, style of font. And then you move it around using the arrows until you're happy with the positioning of the text. And then next stage you start all over again. Third option for image. And then browse, upload. And what you can do as well, you can upload all your images all in one go really. Um, just make sure you're keeping track of what you're doing. I prefer it to do it one at a time, but if I wish to upload extra images i would just browse again and upload and then you can make your choices of which ones you'd like to use for which card i like i said like to do things individually less mistakes happen i want to change that to landscape 
I'm going to adjust in the bleed lines to make sure I'm happy with the image after the cutting process. I'm choosing border again to match the rest of the cards. And then after I have done that, I'm going to click to the next stage, which is background, which will then change the border color. Choosing from the palette. Then once you're happy, you go to choose text, size of text, color of text, style of text. And then you just move your text wherever you wish to position it on the card. And then once you're happy, you just click the arrow to save and then it's next stage. So the process is really quite simple once you've got the hang of it. At first you may go back and forth. But on this site, I mean, you can see all the different types of cards you can get. Bridge, poker, trump, and then you've got your tarot, which is what we've gone through today. And all the prices, like I said, are really affordable. You can choose the type of box you wish to have. It could be branded, plain box. Or you can just have it simply shrink wrapped. You can also choose how many decks you want. And I think the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. So that will help people who are wishing to get maybe a hundred decks to sell on and make a bit of a profit. So I hope this video was gave you some little tips little witchy tips so this is an example of my deck it might be quite um, a small image on your screen due to um, the rest being landscape and filmed in that manner so my cards are a mix and match of black and white some with a little slight pop of color in some are vector, some are illustrations, some are more photo based, um, some have lots of keywords on, some are just images without keywords, all the cards here have a border on, um, the cards with just like a pop of colour as you can see they, they're still very sort of basic but it's like what I can see pops out at me um, within that image and um, what I've done with keywords is just stuck to like a chalkboard effect so it's like a black background with white writing on and then just giving you some examples here and as you can see the cards slide beautifully they are not slippery they don't stick and they shuffle wonderfully. I chose the matte finish for my deck as that was my preference. And a lot of the images I chose were symbolic. Um, so you can you can use your own flavour of the deck. As you can see, look at that lovely quality stock, easy to shuffle. There is just no issues with this deck, in my opinion. They have suited my needs amazingly. This was two actual decks combined into one. I did crime, conspiracy. I really went for it. I was just like really enjoying the whole process. So I'll show you some of the examples of like some of the conspiracy cards as well. I hope you can um, see them on the screen, but you're going to see me use them in crime readings anyway. So we've got like Illuminati stuff, we've got the Exorcist, so we've got some spirituality mixed in this deck as well. 
and then we just got simple yes and no cards so you know at the end of the day it's got to be fit for your purpose it's your ideas it's your energy and it's your invention and like i said this is just for my personal use so thank you for watching take care and blessings from keridwin